Well, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Okay, great, great. We'll be in here in a few seconds. Let me see something. So how was your weekend? It's fine, teacher. It was fine? In, in, <laughs> in my house, <laughs> with my children. Okay. Watching, watching TV. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Watching TV. Did y'all watch the soccer game? No, no. I, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like to see soccer. Okay. I don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand the... The Anything. game, huh? Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Let me close this. Okay. So I sent I sent something to the group, a link. You can look at it right now for a few seconds. Okay, so you can see the link that I sent. And there you will see that it focuses on uh, ordinal numbers. Okay, uh, yeah, so, yes. it, so it can right, give, teacher. so it can give you it gives you in writing, está en escrito, and then it, you press the audio. Okay, there's a little option the audio. You can press it, and it gives you the the ordinal number. So you can always figure out the proper pronunciation, okay? And you can just practice with that. And it gives you the number, este número, escrito y el audio, all three in one, okay? So you can have a better, better understanding about ordinal numbers and its pronunciation. Now, let me see. I'm going to wait a few more seconds and let everybody connect. Do, 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 do. And we will begin. Remember that last Thursday, okay, last Thursday, I told you to be prepared, right? To be prepared with using so, to, either, neither, yeah, but que ustedes iban a crear. You were supposed to create your own sentences and we were going to practice them in class, in breakout room, okay? In breakout room. I saw, I saw some, um, someone say, I'm confused, right? Y entiendo perfectamente el estudiante que yo estaba confundida. I'm confused. Why? Because I was receiving. Estaba recibiendo. Se estaba mandando. People were sending stuff que yo no he pedido. I didn't ask for that. Okay. Eh, recuerden el jueves yo les dije, no les voy a dejar tarea. Right? I told you, right? So what happens is, Como hay algunos que no entran a las conferencias y después ven parte de la video y se confunden entre ellos y después se confunden entre y ya empieza la confusión, right? Por eso es importante que entren a las conferencias, entren, right? Porque a veces los que no entran empiezan a preguntar y quizás alguien le quiere ayudar a esa persona y totalmente eh, empieza a formar, right? I, I don't know what happened, right? Es mi, that is my uh, observation, right? And that is what happens. Eso es lo que pasa cuando no hay uh, asistencia, all right? But, ustedes que estuvieron aquí el jueves saben que yo les dije, no hay tarea. Les dije todavía, no, no les voy a dejar tarea yes. este fin de semana, right? And I'm, I'm saying right. it in Spanish, right? Por si acaso hay uno que misinterpret my words. Y luego les dije, nomás estén listos para cuando entremos el lunes, vamos a hacer una actividad speaking, speaking, right? 
speaking Muy active. Padre. Now, no es que, oh, vaya, mejor no hubiera mandado nada. No, tampoco es eso, right? Los que lo mandaron, como pueden ver, gracias, les dije, thank you for sending it, pero no, es, no era parte de las indicaciones, right? Ese es uno. Number two, remember, right? Hoy mandó eh, un comunicado a alguien principal de administración, right? Y pienso que fue bien específica. Right? Y lo que se está viendo es que siempre se les tiene que estar recordando. Yo siempre les recuerdo, right? Les recordé el jueves incluso, right? Que por favor no se atrasen en la plataforma, right? No en la discussion, no es ahí que después del video van a... No en esa parte, right? En eso está bien, ahí nomás es para interaction so you can practice. Pero lo principal son las tareas ok eso es lo que es evaluado. eso es lo que está evaluado y es lo que Insafor mira right? es, ese, esa calificación right? si usted no llega al 80% bueno uh, no sé qué más decirles right? eh, yo lo único que puedo hacer es de, decirles pero no, no está no es necesario que un alto mando de administración les esté recordando. Sí, right? qué pena. All right, so remember, we are with adults, estamos mm. con adultos, ¿ok? Están recibiendo, están reci Hi, welcome. Están recibiendo una educación eh, a base a aprendizaje del idioma inglés, ¿all right? Y esto es otorgado para ustedes, para ayudarles, ¿vale? Y algunos quizás no lo toman en serio, pero al final, all right, allá cada quien. Yo no quiero que sí. ninguno de ustedes pierda una beca que después del futuro se va a arrepentir. Right? O alguien más diga, bueno, aquí hay una lista. Bueno, usted no quiso hacer quizás lo que tenía que hacer, los requisitos. Vaya, pongamos a alguien que sí, que sí, que sí va a ser un pequeño requisito que es la plataforma. Right? Eh, como les he dicho, la like told you before, si ya están aquí, sigan. No, no queden como muchos, right? Que llegan a un nivel y hasta ahí no más quieren llegar y nunca quieren llegar más allá, right? He conocido muchos así, right? Y al final, al final, en años y años, van disminuyendo, disminuyendo, que al final quedan en basic. Empiezan de nuevo otra vez en otros lugares, right? So why? ¿Por qué? Porque no hacer y hacer el esfuerzo como lo están haciendo ahorita y créanme, es un esfuerzo yo sé, pero al final van a quedar satisfechos you're going to be able to speak you're going to be able to, to advance and progress in the English language that you probably will remember me quizás se van a acordar de mí, no me acuerdo Mr. Henry siempre, oh chica cómo estaba y siempre lo voy a hacer right? no me voy a cansar, no me duele right? me duele más Ver a alguien que al final veo otra lista ya en otro módulo y ya no está. Right? Be like, wow, qué lástima. Right? No lo lamentemos cuando, no, cuando ahorita lo podemos hacer. Right? So that is my notice to you. Right? That is my advice to you. Y, y yo prefiero decírselos aquí, de frente. Right? Como pueden ver, yo no paso mucho ahí. Ah, la ah, no paso así, porque siempre se lo digo aquí en persona. Me siento más conectado con usted aquí que están en el chat. Ok. So, please, please, for tomorrow, ya para mañana, ya tienen que estar en el one, two, and three. And the midterm, right? And the midterm. Y el midterm. Con una ponderación de 80%. All right. So that's all I can say. Y yo pienso que es lo más que puedo hacer, right? No puedo llegar ahí con una chacleta o algo ahí, right? Pow, 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 right? <laughs> so, para aquellos que, que no quieren hacer las tareas, pero yo pienso que todos sí quieren, pero hay que poner un poquito más de espacio, ¿ok? Para aquellos que, y los que ya hicieron todo, hey, el, y pueden ver la televisión ahorita si quieren, I know you don't have to listen to me, right? Porque no estoy hablando con... Uh, directamente a ustedes porque sé que algunos ya completaron eso, right? Están diciendo, oh, teacher, eh, no está hablando conmigo y no es con ustedes. Son aquellos que están atrasaditos un poquito y quizás necesitan un, 
a little bit of push, a little bit of push, right? Now, on Thursday, oh, another thing, if you have any doubts about certain topics, okay? Si tienen alguna duda sobre algún tema, remember, you can always watch the recording, right? Siempre pueden ver el recording. Okay. No dejen que una letra, una palabrita los confusa a todos, que nomás pueden entrar a la video. Ah, y ahí lo explico. Yo pienso que el to y el so, neither y either, lo expliqué. It's so clear. All right, it was clear, right? So all you have to do is watch the recording. And that's just not this one. Any other recording here or in the future, Please feel free, right? Y salen dice, teacher, ¿y dónde está el link para? Ask me. Mándeme en privado, yo le mando el link de, de, de todo el listado donde van a ir todos los videos de YouTube. ¿Ok? Sin mandar individualmente, yo le puedo mandar la lista de, de donde está ubicado todo. ¿Ok? So if you don't have it, ask me, right? Me puedo, pueden mandar ahí en privado. Oye, teacher, fíjate. Uh, can you send me the playlist? Se le llama una playlist, right? YouTube okay. playlist. Y ahí salen todos. Y yo los tengo numerados, así es que you would be, ¿cuál era la clase? Los tengo en orden, los míos. Ok, I have them in order. So. Teacher, eh, disculpe. Entonces, ¿podemos pedirle eso? Lo que usted está diciendo ahorita, de todas las clases. Ok. Eh, eh, como para un repaso. Ok, now, um, what you can do, si quiere ahorita, mándeme, mándeme la... Porque son ¿El requerimiento? Muchos. Mándemelo a mí, a mí, no al grupo, sino que a mí. Sí, 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 así, y, privado. Y, uh -huh. y dígame, teacher, voy a mandar. Y como pueden ver, miren, yo pongo el número de clase abajo. Clase, sí. All right. So, remember, number seven, tomorrow will be eight, right? Uh -huh. En algún momento yo quizás se me olvide ponerlo. Ahí me dicen ustedes también, me jalan la oreja también. No hay ningún problema, right? Teacher, okay. mire, esta es la clase número ocho. Ah, sí, tiene razón, right? Pero. Today is class number seven. Okay. okay. Igual en YouTube, teacher, en, en YouTube están todos. Sí. Si usted uh, le da seguir a, a, a la página de, de, de inglés corporativo, ahí están toditos. Uh -huh. Usted puede ver todos de todos los programas o si nomás quiere ver el listado de esta clase nomás, con gusto uh -huh. se la mando. O también okay. se puede, eh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can watch uh -huh. all of them too. Right? Uh -huh. Pero si lo quiere más definido que nomás aquí, las clases de aquí, eh, I can give you the playlist link, el link de la playlist. Ok, no okay. problem with that, con gusto. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Ok, now, um, can you read the instructions, please, Majori? Ok, teacher. Finish activity on modal verb, so to either, neither. Begin modal verbs will and will. Very good. So we're going to do the activity that we had talked about on Thursday, right? Where we were going to do, you were going to create your own sentences. You want to create sus propias, right? And you were going to interact with your classmates. But I'm going to give you just about two minutes of refresh. right? Just to give you, uh, stimulate your brain a little bit. And what is today's date? What is today's date? Uh, Lily. Hello, Lily. Oh, good evening, mister. Hi. What is today's date? Today's date is Monday, July 26, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Good job, Lily. Eric Fernandez. Hello, Eric. Today. Good evening, sir. Uh, Welcome. The day is uh, Monday, July 26, 2029. 20, 20, mm. 20, very good. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let me see. I have here Roberto Adonai. Hello, Adonai. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Welcome. Uh, today is Monday, Monday, July 26, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Veronica Aldana. Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome, Veronica. De, eh, de este Monday, July 26, 2021. Very good, very good, very good. Judith, hello, Judith. 
Hello. Hi. Today is Monday, July 26, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Michelle Carranza. Hello. Today Hi. is Monday, July 26, 2021. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Hello, Mr. Amilcar. Good evening. Uh, today is Monday, July 26, 2021. Excellent. Well done. Maria Jose. Good evening. Hi, today well is <laughs> thanks. Today is Monday, July 26, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Evelyn Elizabeth. Okay. Hi, teacher. Good Hi. evening. Hi, good evening. Today is Monday, July 26, 2021. Very good. Excellent. All right. Let me see. Elizabeth Guti. Is it Guti there? Elizabeth? Good evening. Hi. Uh, and today is Monday, July 26, 2021. Okay. Very good. Very good. Anyone else that would like to say it? Adia Mas that would like to participate and say it that I haven't called. Aileen Barrera. Good evening. Hi, good Today evening. is Monday, July 26, 2021. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Good job. Now, as far as a little refreshment, remember this? All right. Let me see. Let me see. Carla Esquina. Hello, teacher. Hi, can you read the first sentence, please? Okay. Uh, practice so to either neither. Uh, they don't like, then they don't like pasta. Okay. Neither do I, I don't either. Very good, excellent. So as you can see, this is the structure, right? Neither comes first, neither at principio, and it's already in negative, in negative ideology. So you put neither do I, and when you- I don't either. I don't either. Either comes at the end, and we add the negative, okay? <clears throat> the negative, right? We add the negative here. I don't either. There is no need, no hay necesidad. There's no need to give the main verb, all right? You do not say it. I don't like it either, right? You can just say, I don't either because this is short answer. Answer. Corto. Okay. Respuesta Mister. Corto. Very good. Number two. Mister. Uh -huh. Evelyn, uh, Lily? Yes, I have a question. Uh, is correct to see me either? Yes, you yes. can say it, all right? Okay. You can say it, all right? The difference is, entonces, entonces usted me dice, well, entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia? There is really none there, Lily. The difference is small. So what is that small difference? Is that this is more formal, okay? The other way is lo más fácil, lo más sencillo que hay. Me either, me either, me too, me too, me too, me either, me either. It's something that we learn when we speak and we just want to say little words, but this is the formal way, okay? I don't need it. Okay, thank you, Lily. Now, number two, um, Dina Contreras, can you read number two, please? Number two, I, he likes spicy food. So do I, I do too. All right, very good. So do I, I do too. I do too. Very good, excellent. Remember when we use regular verbs, so. excellent, well done. When we use verbs, we use simple simple tense, right? Or base form. She likes. Use do, utilizamos el do, all right? When we have auxiliary verbs, we use those, como la number three, like number three. Let me see, Lily, go ahead and do number three. Lily, aquí no. Okay, I can't work today. Neither can I, and I can either. Very good, excellent. You notice here the main <laughs> verb is work, right? Yeah. But we have an auxiliary. Hay un auxiliar. There's an auxiliary here. 
we have to use the auxiliary all right now now for 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 a little review what would happen if i say i work today so do so I. I do so do i so do i very good excellent I Excellent. Very good. I do. Very good. Excellent. Nos vamos bien. Very good. Number four. Vamos a ver a quién llamo. Eric Fernandez, since you have your mic. Yes, yes, sir. She's working eight hours. So am I. I'm two. All right. Very good. I am two, right? Very good. Very good. So if you notice also, when we use this there's also like stress i am too right we put the stress on two and we're going to see that in a little bit okay let me see maria loves salty food majori maria loves salty food so do i very good and or i do too excellent very good very good now that was just a little reminder, a little refresh, a little refresh. Now you are going to go in breakout rooms, okay? Breakout rooms and you are going to practice. Aquí es donde viene lo que eh, muchos preguntaron. Homework. Yes, right? Basically it's just speaking. All you have to do is create your own crear sus propias. You're going to create your own and you are going to ask your classmates and your classmate is supposed to answer. When your classmate answers, he or she is going to ask you and then you answer in short answer. Okay? Formally. Formally the same way we've been practicing here okay any questions alguna pregunta sobre esta actividad que vamos a realizar any questions on this activity that we are going to do no clear it's clear okay great okay. remember don't be shy right don't be shy you can ask me let me see Okay. Some of you will be in three and some of you will be in two. If, if I put you, if you happen, right? Because the platform autom automatically selects the individuals or you as students. If you're with someone, if you are with someone that they are not speaking or they are not responding, just click the button, help, para que yo entre allí. And if that person I do not hear participating, I will take you out. Yo la sacaré a usted y la pongo con otro grupo. Okay? okay? Because there's going to be some with two people, and there's going to be some with three. Okay? So, okay. okay. All right. One, three. Please enter breakout rooms and let's practice speaking time. Hello, Carla, can you enter breakout rooms, please? Carla, can you enter breakout rooms, please? Usted me pregunta y, y yo le respondo, ¿cierto? Y yo le yeah. pregunto y usted me responde. Yes. Ok. Bueno, no sé si inicia o inició. Um, maybe you go first. Hmm. 
sola. Hello, Maria Jose. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Okay, I'm going to, I don't know what happened to Carla. Okay, I think she left or disconnected. Oh, she's back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you begin, please, Carla? I'm sorry, teacher. I had a bad intern. Okay, no problem. But I'm here, but I'm here. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. I see you're coming back, right? <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, it's going to be you and Maria Jose. Uh, hello, Maria Jose. Hi, Carla. Okay, um, we are going to practice, okay? Uh, I'm not, I'm not child. What? Uh, I'm not child. Eh, yo le voy a decir y usted va a responder, ¿cierto? Yeah. Así sería yeah. Yeah, la dinámica. Ajá, uh -huh, entonces, okay. eh, bueno. Uh, I'm, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not child. Okay. Um, Usted puede responderme como neither am I neither, or, uh, or I am too. Neither do. Okay. Uh -huh. Neither am I. Uh -huh. Neither am I. Um, okay. Can you swim? Uh, I uh, either I can. Mm, either can here? I? Either can mm -hmm. I? Either can uh, I? No, uh, Maria Jose. What happened? Uh, I asked her something. Mm -hmm. She's going to answer, and then I going and I will going to answer with the. Okay, but why why did you start with the? Con pregunta. I understand that you said that. You're going to give a statement right you're going to so you have to use subject right maria jose remember um, carla carla did the first one carla did was correct repeat it carla, carla? Lo que dije al principio. yes the one you said at the beginning no que respondí, no your statement Yes, what ah, okay. you said. I'm not tired. Very good. You see, mm. ella está dando una statement. No, okay. I'm not tired. Negative. Mm -hmm. And you said, neither am I, right? Yeah. Now, when you give your statement, it's not question. Ah, oh, okay. All right. No es el que ni na, eh, como pregunta. No, you're supposed to give a statement. For example, I like pizza, so do I. Yeah, yeah, but when you explain that this exercise, I understand that we need to ask something and the person will respond. And after, I I will... <laughs> Yo tendría que... Okay. How can I say that? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Let, let me see. Go ahead, Maria Jose, do it. No, I'm going to say a sentence, <laughs> a normal <laughs> sentence, because <laughs> I have it right here. Okay. Uh, uh, I do exercise every day. <laughs> okay, very good. I do exercise every day. So do I. Okay, very good. Or? I do too. I do very too. good. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> Carla, you again. Okay. Uh, I don't like novels. Uh, neither do I, or I don't either. Very good, very good. I vamos. Excellent. Good job, good job. <laughs> continue, continue. Okay. Uh
the last one the last one is samantha eat salad every day i do too so do i right For me, finish my sentence. Okay, Roberto, are you finished with yours? Yes, yes. sir. I okay. finished. Uh, Romulo, three. finished too? All right. It was supposed yes. to be like five, right? Yes. We, we make a lot yeah. of question answers. Okay, <laughs> very good. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Very good. This is a way so you can practice back and forth, back and forth, yes. back and forth, right? So you can get a little bit more extra vocabulary in your English speaking skills. Very good, very good, excellent. So you're finished? Okay, you can continue. Yes. We're going to do like one more minute and then we go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. I have a... I don't like. I don't like noodles. <laughs> noodles. <laughs> noodles. Um, I am. Mm. I don't. I am significa your soy, right, or your story. Um. Repeat. <laughs> okay, repeat, please. Caramba. I don't. I don't like noodles. Okay, I don't like noodles. Veronica, do you know? Do you know what sí. noodles are? Sabe lo que es noodles? Noodles. Mm -hmm. No. Fideos, right? Fideos. Okay. Noodles. Okay. Uh, I am no, not either. Mm. No, yo, yo I no, am not either. Mm, yo no estoy también. Mm, Verónica. Perdón, perdón. I, I... Verónica, I like... ¿Sí? La estructura, what is the structure? I, subject, then the negative, I don't... Don't. Don't, don't. either. I don't either. I don't either. Okay, remember the structure is important, la estructura es importante. Okay. Pero si la ne quiero negativa. Okay. Ay, Aquí, ¿La puede ver la pantalla, Verónica? Sí, sí, okay. sí. I don't either. Don't, I es, don't. Neg y es negativa. Or neither do I. I neither do I. Okay, so repeat it, Carranza. Uh, I don't like. Noodles. Noodles. <laughs> I don't either. Or, Noodles. or, o, oh, son dos. Uh -huh. Neither do I. Excellent. Very good. Así es. Very good. Excellent. That is the structure. Good job. Good job, Veronica. All right. Very good. Continue. Okay. Hi, hello. Back. All right. Welcome <laughs> back. I hope you did a lot of speaking practice. We are here again. <laughs> okay. We're here again. We're back in the main session. This was to help you speak with your classmates and at the same time practice the structure of so, to, either, or neither, whether it's negative or positive. Now, let's continue with our next. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. I have any question for you but in the create the different sentence for example i will travel to bogotá in the next month is correct I, I will do i will i will do so we are i 
Very good. Yes. In, in the past, I was played basketball. I was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was played. Hmm. Oh, I have been. Okay, yes, present. Played basketball. Present perfect continuous, entonces, right? Yeah. All right. So had I. Uh, had, remember, we use the auxiliary. Utilizamos cuál? The auxiliary. If there's an auxiliary verb, ese es el que utilizamos. If there is no auxiliary and we use the simple verb, we use do. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Eric, a very good question. Okay. I had, I had, um, I had students ask me that before. Yo tenía algunos que me han preguntado eso también. Very good question, right? Present perfect, present continuous, simple past. Digamos el pasado simple, simple past, right? I, I ate what? I ate. Okay, denme algo que comer, el pasado. Something you ate in the past. What did you eat for lunch? I ate what? Chicken, pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, what? Eric. Pupusa, pizza. All right, pupusa, dijo Aria, right? <laughs> Very good. Miren esto. Look at this. Is this simple present, simple past, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous? Get tense is this future? What, what is it? Simple past. Ah, simple past. Simple past. Simple, simple past. past. Right? Simple past. Aclaramos eso. We clear that, right? Simple past. So, how uh, we can do san, it? Uh, so, the eye. San. Hmm? So, the eye. I. Very good. ¿Por qué? Porque the, the past of do, the past of do is? Is. 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 There you go. Así de fácil, right? Just like that. But what about if it's present continuous? Uh, irregular verb. I was. I was eating. Right. Remember when we use an auxiliary. Eating. Eating. I was eating pupusas. Okay. We use ing, right? Present continuous. Estaba comiendo but, pupusas. This, but this is past continuous, right? Este es past mm. continuous. Yo estaba comiendo. I was eating pupusas. I was eating pupusas. So this is the past... chicharrón. Pa okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this, this is explícito. Con queso. All right. So chicharrón con queso. So this is past continuous, right? So we're going to use past. Para no escribirlo todo ya saben. Past continuous. Past continuous. All right. So Look at here. Miren esto. Hay un auxiliary verb here? Como un secondary? Was, ¿Cuál sería? Was. Was. Very good. Was. So, how will you answer that? So, what's I? Very good. Bye. Oh, I was too. I was too. Yeah. I was too. Yo también, no nomás tú, right? I was too, right? I was too in pupusa con chicharrones, jalapeños, and everything, <laughs> with, right? So was I. I was too. Okay. Remember, we use the auxiliary. Okay. So it doesn't matter what tense. Eh, no hay ninguna confusión. No importa cuál tense you use. Okay. Present. Present continuo. Oh, present continuo. Present. Dijo okay. Vaya. Lily, I am eating pupusas. What is. ¿Cuál es el, el, el secondary verb here? So am, so am I. I. Ah, vaya pues. So am I. Very good. So am I. So am I. With the person perfect? <laughs> well, I am too, teacher. Lo mismo sería el mi aceite. Yeah. It's logical, right? Yeah, it's logical, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. She... Ese es present, ¿qué? 
Okay, uh, press continue. and continue. Press and continue. I had eaten. Vamos a ver. Past perfect. Lily. Sin escribir nada. Only speaking and listening. I had eaten pupusas. I had eaten pupusas. Okay. So had I. Okay. Oh, yeah, All right. Very good. Very good. All right. right. Uh, <laughs> it's simple. All you have to do is get the auxiliary. You still lo mismo la articulación, right? You do the short answer. Yeah. You see? If you know the structure, si usted se, se memoriza o practica la estructura, no va a fallar. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. <laughs> yes. In future. Oh, future. Bye. Who asked me? Who? Roberto. Roberto Garcia? Roberto de Paul. Okay, the Paul. Full teacher. Okay, bye. Future. I will I eat pupusas tomorrow. Mañana, right? Or next So week. will I. Ah, vaya. I will too. So will I. I so will I. Or... I will too. I will too. Okay. Simple. If you know the structure, esto es. Esto es... Right? Piece of cake, right? Yeah. If you know the structure, <laughs> you will know the main verb is eat, right? And then you have the auxiliary here, will. Okay. Whether it's verb to be, whether it's past, future, perfect, continuous, you will use the auxiliary. Okay, so as you can see this. Teacher, I have another question. Tell me. <coughs> y si fuera negativo, y si fuera negativo ahí, por ejemplo, yo dijera, yo no comeré. Neither. Okay. Neither. Uh huh. It's so neither or either. Neither or either. Ahí no iría ahí. Ahí iría lo, la estructura neither. que hemos estado viendo. Right? Neither, neither will I. Ah, yeah, very good. Yeah. Ahí es nomás la estructura negativa. That's it. Lo que hemos estado viendo desde el jueves y hoy lo mismo neither or either for negative okay ah, okay Sería. all right neither will i neither will i o o o either will o ah, I, uh -huh. i will i will either mm -hmm. i will not either. i will not or neither or will I. okay ahí tiene que poner negativo right you have to put the negative Remember, with either, when you use okay. either at the end, you have to use the negative. When you use neither at the beginning, it's already in negative, so you do not need to add the negative okay. there. Okay? All right. I won't either. Okay, class. Let's continue with the main topics. Let me see. Okay, here this is going to be real simple. This is basically pronunciation. You can pronounce. Para mí no es necesario ver la pronunciación de I, uh, neither either. I think you already know it. Si alguien quiere ver la pronunciación, díganme. The either and neither or so and to. No? All right. It's no. just. Lo hemos estado practicando, right? We've been practicing. Now, ordering a meal. Let's look at this. Remember, you can always watch these videos. Usted siempre puede ver los videos at any time. Anytime you want, as many times as you want. All right? Now, here, let's listen to this one. Hmm. Let me see. No activé el... Uh, what happened? 
like this stuff. Here it is right here. All right. One. Let me know if you can hear it, okay? Hello, everyone. I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the model verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. May I take your order? Okay. Now, here you have like a waiter, right? A waiter or someone taking an order. Okay. Do you have a you have a person right here who is trying to eat something or order something? Algo, right? We have them here. And it looks like a place where you can eat lunch, dinner, maybe breakfast, stuff like that. A little mini restaurant or something, right? But imagine you are at a restaurant. Now, as you can see, the waiter, the waiter is this person. All right. Waiter here, may I take your order, please? We have the waiter here, and this is the customer. This is the customer. Now, customer. this is the customer. We're okay. going to do, I have a little activity for you at the end. If we don't have time, we will do it tomorrow, okay? But don't worry. What I, what I want is just for you to just enjoy the class and just pay attention with the way we use would and will, okay? Now, first thing we're going to do is, let's read the conversation. You heard it already, but now I want you to say it. Okay, let me see. I'm going to call on um, Gladys, Emily. Please read the first sentence. May I take your order? Very good. Carranza. Yes, it light the lamb. Kebal. 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 Now here. Il. Aid. 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 Yes. Aid. This is a contraction. This is a contraction of I would. Okay? I would. I would. And we're going to see it here shortly, okay? In a minute, we will see it, okay? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I would. Es lo que significa I'd. I would. Okay, thank you. Maria Jose? All right. And would you like a salad? Very good. Excellent. All right. All right. And would you like a salad? Would would eric fernandez yes sir yes he'll have a mixed green salad okay mm, io 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 is the io io yes io 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 i will yes i equals i i don't understand me signal like that equals wood mm -hmm. Okay, I'll. I will. Is I will. Will. Okay, I will. Or I okay. will. Don't want to confuse anybody. I will. I would. I will. Okay. Remember, we still, these are modal verbs. Okay. Let me see. Continue, please. Roberto Adonai. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We will have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Okay, very good, very good. What kind of dressing? What is dressing? It's Aderezo. Postre. Aderezo. Aderezo. Very good. Aderezo, where you put in salad, right? In salad. 
in salad, and ensaladas, in salads. Very good. All right, let me see. Continue, please, Elizabeth Guti. Blue cheese, please. Very good, excellent, good job. Blue cheese, okay. Queso azul, what? <laughs> right? Blue cheese, right? Blue cheese, please. Now, these are dressings, okay? That's what they're called, all right? Let me see, Marjorie. And will you like anything to drink? Thank you, okay. And would you like anything to drink? Veronica Aldana? Yes, I like, I love. Ace type, please. Okay, large, large, large. ice, large. ice, ice. Eso. tea. tea. Very, very good, excellent, Veronica. Good job. So it's like, yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Very good, Veronica. Perfect. Good job. Now, this is just a conversation practice. Later, later, look at tengo planeado. What I have planned for you is you are going to act. You are going to act. Van a actuar como un customer y un waiter. All right? You're going to simulate. Let me see. I have tengo two hands raised. Let me see. Lily and Milagro. Do you have a question? Yes. Teacher, uh, what is the meaning blue cheese? Okay, blue cheese is just the name, the name of different dressings, como el ranch, uh, must, honey mustard. They are the names que les dan um, a los adredes. Yes, all right. Es um, como, okay. uh, I got it. All right, like, um, how do you say that cream cheese, queso crema, stuff like that, yes. All right. Um, uh, and then vinaigrette is like a vinegar que lleva como vinagre. It's like the same way when when we eat the pupusas, right? We say we use cabbage, right? Mozzarella. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, there you go, right? Mozzarella, yeah, right. And then we put like different types of stuff. Whether this one has vinegar, some have cheese, some have cream cheese, some have different like mayonnaise, mayonnaise different types of ingredients within the dressing. Okay, Lily? Okay, I got it, thank you. Okay, no problem. Uh, anyone else? Alguien más had their hand raised? Teacher, yes. what is the meaning lamb kebab? Okay. Brocheta de cordero. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Say it again, please. Dígalo, ¿quién usted? Alguien lo dijo ahorita. Who said Bro, brocheta de cordero. Ah, oh, vaya, there you go. Cordero, no. right? Lamb, right? Expensive. Caros, right? Very expensive. Maybe $20, $30, right? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I would like, um, I would like turkey, right? Quiero pavo or something like that, right? But here, this is a little bit different. I would like, I would like deer. Deer. What is deer? What is deer? So you're like, I would like deer. Deer. I don't know. Deer. Venado. 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 Right? Deer. Deer. Yeah. You spell it like this. Para que lo sepan. Deer. Right? Deer. Yes. Deer. deer is eaten a lot in the United States. El deer si se come y se casa en Estados Unidos. Deer. Mm -hmm. Right? Kansas City. Yeah, a lot of different places in the United States. Yes. A lot of different places, yes. Yes, that is correct. I do like Philly Way. <laughs> <laughs> right? uh, here comes a man like that, woo woo, with a small deer, right? Let me see. All right, class. Now, let's look at the next one. Let me see. Here. Be sure. Now, here. The subject. Plus like. Plus here nice. we are going to see the structure. Okay, here we are going to see the structure for wood for making a request. Okay, wood and will for request. 
por solicitudes. When you make a response. Cuando usted va la respuesta. When you give the response. This is how we're going to use it, okay? In this structure. For this, uh, for this topic. Okay? Someone, uh, this is how you... someone said teacher. Someone had a question or something? No? Okay. Let's continue. Back in class. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they're being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal mm -hmm. verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. I would. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your request to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject, plus like, plus infinitive verb, plus complement, plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of would in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using would? Subject plus would plus like plus complement. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using would. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Okay, so here, just basic structures, okay? Basic structures, and I have a PowerPoint presentation pretty much detailing some of these points. Using wood when you want to request something. Now, if you, if you notice here, let me see. What would you like to eat? What? Here we're asking what? Que? El que, right? We don't know what, what you would like to eat. So if I ask you, Maria Jose, <clears throat> what would you like to eat? I would. Mm -hmm. I. <laughs> I. Okay, Maria Jose. I would like. I will like. Uh huh. The voice as teacher. Okay. All right. Great. All right. What about you, Maria Jose? You didn't answer. <laughs> I I would like French fries. All right, French fries. Someone said pupusa. Maria Jose said French fries. What about you, Azucena? What would you like to eat? I would like. A hamburger. All right, very good. A hamburger, right? Very good. With cheese, double cheese, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay, what about you, Roberto Adonai? What would you like to eat? I would like pizza. 
Okay. From Papa John's Pizza Hut or what? Domino's? Little no. Pizza? In, anywhere. <laughs> anywhere, and, right? And I'd like pizza. All right. Great. Great. Anywhere, right? Now, let me see here. Teacher. Yes. Someone said teacher. Then we use word to ask questions because the answer are not certain that they are possible or the carry all. Yes, because it's an uncertainty. It's not a 100%. Okay. The person is not 100% sure. Por eso está haciendo la solicitud, the request. Okay? Okay. That's why he's asking what would, and this is formal. Esta es la forma formal. ¿Qué le gustaría, right? ¿Qué le gustaría comer, right? What would you like to eat? What would you like to drink? I would like to eat uh, sushi. All right, sushi, right, now. right? Very good. And remember, when you respond, you can respond with will or would. Or will or would. Yeah. I'll, you can say, I'll have sushi, I'll. right? When you're in a, for example, si está en un restaurante, right? You're in a restaurant. And we're going to do this together, right? You're going to act. Vamos a hacer un acto también. You're going to do an act where you're going to be the customer and the other person is going to be the waiter, okay? Es que, es que, al menos, uh, respóndame usted lo siguiente. Por ejemplo, cuando yo estoy en un restaurante y yo le respondo, I will, es porque puedo obtener, o sea, puedo realizar esa acción porque es algo seguro. Pero, por ejemplo, si estoy en mi casa y yo le digo en este momento, yo quisiera comer sushi, sé que no lo puedo tener, por eso utilizo el U, porque es algo que quisiera, pero no es certero de que lo realice. Exactly, es una solicitud, es a request. You see this word right here? Request, request, okay. right? Entonces está solicitando, right? When you say pizza, sushi, pupusa, right? But... That is when they're asking you. Eso es cuando le preguntan, right? What would you like to eat? Ahí está abierto. ¿Qué le gustaría comer? And you can give any example. Uh, me gustaría, right? All right. I would like. No, pero por eso but, le digo. But. O sea, en cuestiones de la respuesta, cuando es certero de que puede obtenerlo, utilizará el quiero. Pero cuando solo le gustaría, pero la reacción no se se podría llevar a cabo si utiliza el word. You can use some both. No. You, are, you are correct, Elizabeth. You are correct. All right? One is more affirmative. Una es más afirmativa que la otra. But, keep in mind, tomen cuenta en eso, they are both used interchangeably. Las dos se pueden utilizar intercambiables. Okay? You can use both. I'll have coffee. I would like a nice tea. I'll, you can do, you can move, I would, I'll have an iced tea, right? Ya no más, como más directo. It's a little bit more direct, all right? Yo tendré un vaso de, eh, una copa de vino, por favor. All right? Para mí una copa de vino. Oh, me gustaría una copa de, or two, two, two cups of wine, right? So, the, the aisle is a little bit more affirmative, Okay. Es un poquito más afirmativo y como dijo Elizabeth, el wood es a little bit more like, eh, yo quisiera, right? A little bit more open, but will is a little bit more affirmative. But keep in mind, remember, you can use both, pueden usar ambos, all right? For your request, para su solicitud, okay? In your answer, in your answer. Very good. Thank you for participating, Elizabeth. Great, great, excellent. <clears throat> She wants a cup of wine, she said. <laughs> a cup of red wine or white wine. Let me see. What would you prefer if I were to tell you? Um, would you like white wine or red wine, Mr. Amilcar? Let's say we're at a restaurant. I ask you, would you, would you like red wine or white wine? Um... I like a uh, white wine. A white wine. Okay, very good, very good. I'm okay. just giving examples, right? Examples. Okay. Now here, you can copy this. This is the structure. You can use wood at the beginning of the sentence to make a request. 
would you like, como le dije ahorita, would you like red wine or white wine? Would, all right? This is the structure. Esta sería la estructura. When you use it at the beginning of the sentence. Cuando iniciamos la oración, whenever you begin the sentence. Would plus subject plus like plus the infinitive plus complement and <laughs> question mark. Question mark. Hello, Carla, you have a question? ¿Tiene una pregunta, Carla? No? Okay. I thought I heard something. Okay. Here's an example. Would you like to drink tea? Would you like red wine or white wine? Would you like pizza? This is the structure when you're making a request. A request. Como un... Uh, you, you, you're, you're catering to a customer, okay? Imagine that you are working at a restaurant. This is how you would ask a client, un cliente or something. Now, next one. Using wood to make requests, all right? Esto es cuando hacemos solicitudes, what um, Elizabeth and the rest were talking about. What would you like to eat for dessert? <clears throat> ¿Qué le gustaría comer para, para for dessert, for right? Yeah, for pasta. Yes, thank you, Major. For dessert, right? What would you like to eat? And then the person will answer, I would like... Uh, I would have... Uh, a, <laughs> a cake, a piece of cake. Apple or pie. Apple pie, cheesecake, whatever you, whatever you want in the restaurant. But for tomorrow... We are going to practice. Okay, we're going to see this again. tomorrow. We will do a little review tomorrow because it's important. It's important to learn how to solicit or make requests, especially when you are in a restaurant. All right, especially when you're in a restaurant. And let's say you happen to go in to another country and. And the restaurant speaks nothing but English. All the employees speak English. And you will see something like this. Okay? Verían algo así. And this we're going to do tomorrow. Aquí le doy como un preview. You see this? Imagine you are a waiter. Imagínese que usted la mesera o el mesero. A waiter. This is you right here. And these are some of the questions you would ask. And we are going to do this in group tomorrow. Okay? In preview. You're going to ask the questions, and then the uno espacio so you can fill in. Then you're going to do it completely, and finally, you're going to have a list, and you have to create. You have to create your own for tomorrow. So I have this list, and then will you like anything else? Is it algo más? Yes or no will be the responses with your classmates. This is for tomorrow, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, that meaning that the way that tomorrow uh, we are going to be in a restaurant yes exactly right okay. so tomorrow imagine you are going to be in a restaurant imagine you are a waiter okay or a waitress para la mujer se le llama waitress for the man waiter waiter all right so be ready for tomorrow be ready for tomorrow with this word. Van a simular como que están en un restaurante. Yes, that is okay. Cool. Okay, so. Uh, Can we go with my wife? Okay, <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so let me see. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, let me see. Um, we are going to do this tomorrow, so be ready. Mañana es práctica. Imagine, mañana nos vamos a ir fuera del aula virtual, okay? Tomorrow, imagine you are in a restaurant, and you are going to have, like, your, your suit on, and you're going to say, uh, hello, good afternoon, good evening, right? What would you like to drink? Y usted va a tener su orden ahí, right? What would you like to drink? And I'm going to put you in groups. What would you like to drink, Elizabeth? Yeah, I would like uh, uh, 
uh, a cup of coffee, right? Del más caro, right? The more expensive one that you have, right? <laughs> right? And I would say, sure, no problem, right? Sure, no problem. Coming right up, right? Aquí viene, right? It will be on its way, right? Or uh, like, I like a milkshake. Okay, a milkshake, right? Very good. A milkshake, right? Or a cup of wine, right? A cup of wine. Right. Una copa de vino, right? Copa de vino. Or a cup of tea. Oh, wow. Right? Or water, right? Aquí, right? right? Water. Different. We're going to do this tomorrow, but remember, if you... There it is. Remember, no están limitados. You are not limited to my to my uh, structure here or to the items here. You can add, create your own. Okay? Yeah, I would like uh, sushi, somebody said, right? I would like pizza with everything, todo, everything on it. And, uh, ¿cómo se dicen aceitunas en inglés? I don't know. <laughs> olives, olives, all right? Olives, um, olives like this, okay? Olives. olives. All right, olives, okay? All right, and then you can have mushrooms, right, in pizza? Mushrooms. Ongos. Mushrooms. All right. Ongos. All right. Green, bell, green bell pepper. Green bell. Green bell. Este, uh, chile verde, right? Chile verde. Green bell peppers, right? Onions. Onions, yes, onions. Yeah. Different types of ingredients, right? Garlic. Bueno, le gusta el agua. Garlic. garlic. Different types of ingredients that you might want to to focus on, right? Okay. That is for tomorrow, right? I can't, okay. I, I passed a little bit of the time, but I think we're doing good. I think we're doing great. Okay, so now I see everyone tomorrow. Please remember to do the, the homework in the plan. Yeah, my joy, me dio la mente. Very good. Excellent. You read my mind. Okay, thank you everyone for joining today. And I see you tomorrow, same time. And be prepared. All right, Amirka, Elizabeth, Eric, Gladys, Maria Jose, my joy, Veronica, Michelle, thank you. Evelyn, thank you. Roberto. Bob, Roberto, Romulo, Milagro, Jessica, Eric, Enrique, Elen, Tina, Maria Susana, Carla, and Carla Esquina. Good night, everyone. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. No homework. No hay tareas. No homework. All right. Bye bye. Uh, so we're going to sleep very well. <laughs> yes. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh,